Following the success of a previous experiment when I took a bottle of supermarket whiskey, ran it through a common water distiller and got through an interesting clear liquid that still tasted like whiskey, I thought, what would happen if I got a bottle of Jägermeister and ran it through instead? Well, there's only one way to find out, and that is to stick a bottle of Jägermeister through a water still. So I'm going to open this bottle of Jägermeister, I'm going to pour it in, I'm going to throw a stupid soy face for the YouTube thumbnail, as is traditional. And then I'll distill it and we'll see what comes out. I'm going to add the letters OMG with an exclamation mark, because that's uh, also apparently a requisite of YouTube thumbnails, right? Okay, it is in here. Oh, another thing I'm going to do is afterwards, whatever comes out, I'll taste it and tell what it tastes like. Whatever's left, I'll taste the sticky syrup that's left. It's almost certainly going to be sticky syrup, but then I'll reconstitute it with cheap supermarket vodka and see what that tastes like as well. Begin the experiment. Job done. It is distilled through, and this red line that I've drawn on here indicates how much liquid has come through. It's clear, as you can see through the glass bottle. Well, you can't really, because it could be green in the green glass bottle. The residue, on the other hand, is very gooey and sticky in here. There's quite a lot of it. I shall be tasting that afterwards and then trying to reconstitute it to see what happens. But in the meantime, let's taste the distilled... Jaeger and see what happens. So I'm not going to put too much in because of a horrible feeling. It may taste a bit odd. It's clear. It's carried a lot of the Jägermeister flavours across, but without the sugar, which you'd expect. It's not bad, but it's perhaps, uh, it would take a bit of getting used to. Mm. It's quite bitter, but it's not too bad. Okay, now let's just stick my finger into this container and taste this stuff. Ooh. Mm. That's mostly sugar. Okay, I'll tell you what then. Let's get the bottle of cheap supermarket vodka courtesy of the co-op, the co-op puts the ingredients on their bottles, so this one is ingredients, demineralized water and grain alcohol. Water and ethanol, that's what vodka is, to be all chemically about it. So let's pour this into the container. And then swirl it around a bit to mix it. I'll give you super, super audio vision here. Okay, okay. So I'm going to slosh it around more carefully than I did last time, because it went everywhere last time. Oh, it's taking a bit to dissolve. It's uh, It's gone up the sides and it's gone all sort of sticky and stuff. Right. Now I'm going to take the bottle and I'm going to take the funnel. Yes, it's the beard funnel for those who have seen that video. And I'm going to pour the stuff back in. So this does look like Jägermeister now, but is it as thick and sticky? There's only one way to find out. Uh, given that there was quite a lot of residue, I'll be careful how much I pour in here so I don't end up pouring it everywhere. Oh, it is about to pour everywhere. Oh, that's quite a lot. Oh, right, it's up to the top of the bottle. Righty-ho, I'll just mop up that spillage. And I'll put that down there. It still has a fair amount in it. Okie dokie. Here is what we've got now. Oh, it's very dark. It's very jaeger but then you'd expect that. I'll shake it. Like a Polaroid picture, though, it keeps getting pointed out you're not supposed to shake Polaroid pictures, but there's not really much choice anyway, since they don't really do that stuff anymore, do they? Uh, I'll just make sure the glass is fully empty. Mm -hmm. And then pour in the reconstituted Jaeger. Is it going to taste like Jägermeister? Yes. Milder than normal Jägermeister, because... Some of the bitterness has gone across with the clear liquid, and what's left is more a sugary spirit. But it still carries the taste of Jägermeister. So that's kind of worked. I'll say I ended up with a clear and distinct tasting spirit, which uh, has the hints of Jägermeister, but is drier, it's got less sugar, it's uh, a more bitter and medicinal taste, but still palatable.
And the other one uh, is now a bottle of something that strongly resembles Jägermeister and has the sweetness but has some of the sort of more bitter notes taken away from it. So I'd say that's actually a success. That was a pretty good result.